This is one of the stores where the baristas put down the coffee beans and picked up signs. This strike taking place on the company's popular Red Cup Day. These Starbucks workers are serving grievances instead of coffee today. They aren't willing to sit down and negotiate with us. Unionized employees at seven Starbucks in Massachusetts, about 100 nationwide, walked off the job, closing many stores. Today is so-called Red Cup Day, one of the busiest for the coffee giant, which hands out red reusable cups for free with certain orders. So the reason we're doing this action today on their busiest day of the year is to send the message that if they don't want to come to the bargaining table with us, then we're going to shut their stores down. What kind of coffee? Union, union coffee. coffee! They are part of a newly formed union, Starbucks Workers United. Members telling us staffing is a major issue, especially with Starbucks's growing menu of complicated drinks. And if they won't listen to us, then at least listen to the customers who are upset. They're waiting in line. They see us running around and are like, what's going on? Why aren't you staffed enough? The types of drinks that they serve, um, the amount of time it takes to make them, it's not just serving a black coffee anymore. In a statement, Starbucks says in part, we remain committed to all partners and will continue to work together side by side to make Starbucks a company that works for everyone. In those stores where partners have elected union representation, we have been willing and continue to urge the union to meet us at the bargaining table to move the process forward in good faith. Now, a lot of customers did show up to these stores. Obviously, they were closed. Instead of getting the Starbucks Red Cup, the union actually handed out their own version with the union logo, as well as information describing their cause. Live in Watertown, Sarah Kanji, WCVB News Center 5.